For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir Technologies, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol PLTR, has been one of the standout performers in the stock market this year. However, Palantir is also one of the more controversial names in the market, mainly due to questions surrounding its valuation. Despite its impressive stock performance, some investors are concerned about whether its high price is justified, while others see great potential for continued growth. In this analysis, we'll examine both the positive and negative cases for Palantir to help you decide whether the stock is worth buying at its current levels. On the bullish side, Palantir has firmly established itself as a leader in the field of data gathering and analytics, a sector that has grown increasingly important across industries. The company is widely recognized for its expertise in the managing of vast amounts of data and transforming that data into actionable insights for its clients. This strong foundation has helped Palantir become one of the most prominent players in the global data analytics market. Recently, Palantir has been making waves with the introduction of its new artificial intelligence platform, which has opened up exciting new possibilities for the company and its clients. This platform, referred to as the Artificial Intelligence Platform, allows users to create artificial intelligence-driven applications, automate tasks, and build intelligent agents through a streamlined workflow builder. What makes this offering particularly valuable is its versatility. It can be applied across various industries to solve complex challenges, making Palantir services even more desirable to commercial clients. The launch of the Artificial Intelligence Platform has been well received, as evidenced by Palantir's latest financial results. In the second quarter of the year, the company's commercial segment revenue saw a significant increase, rising by 33% on a year-over-year -year basis to reach $307 million. Even more impressive was the performance of its U.S. commercial revenue, which surged by 55% to $159 million. These numbers demonstrate the growing demand for Palantir services, especially in the commercial sector, as more businesses recognize the potential of the company's advanced data analytics and artificial intelligence capabilities. One of the key strategies Palantir is using to attract new customers to its artificial intelligence platform is through a series of intensive training sessions, or boot camps. These boot camps are designed to provide prospective clients with hands-on experience in using the platform, showing them how it can be applied to their specific business needs. By offering in-depth training and onboarding support, Palantir is effectively demonstrating the value of its platform to potential customers, which has led to a sharp increase in the company's commercial client base. In the United States alone, Palantir saw its commercial customer count grow by 83% on a year-over-year -year basis and 13% sequentially, bringing the total number of U.S. commercial clients to 295. Looking ahead, Palantir's next big growth opportunity lies in transitioning these new customers from prototype work to full-scale production. This approach, known as the land and expand strategy, involves first securing smaller projects with new clients and then expanding the scope of those engagements over time. This strategy is still in its early stages for Palantir, but it has already shown promise. Last quarter, Palantir reported a net dollar retention rate of 114%, which is a key metric that indicates growth among existing customers. This figure shows that Palantir's current clients are spending more on its services year over year, even after accounting for any customer churn during that period. However, it's important to note that this metric does not yet fully capture the momentum Palantir has been building with the customers it has acquired over the past 12 months. In addition to its success in the commercial sector, Palantir's business with its largest client, the United States government, is also showing signs of renewed growth. In its most recent quarter, Palantir's U.S. government revenue increased by 23%, compared to the overall government growth rate of 14% seen in 2023. This acceleration in government revenue is a positive sign, as government contracts have historically been a significant driver of Palantir's overall business. Palantir has also secured several notable government contracts this year, further solidifying its position as a key technology provider to the U.S. government. One of the most significant deals Palantir has signed is a five-year contract valued at nearly $100 million, which will expand the use of its Maven smart system across the military. Additionally, the company was awarded an initial production contract worth $153 million to make licenses for its artificial intelligence-enabled operating system available across the Department of Defense. Moreover, 
Palantir has recently announced a strategic collaboration with Microsoft to enhance its offerings within the government vertical. This partnership could lead to even greater integration of Palantir's technology within government agencies, potentially driving further revenue growth from this important segment. When taking all these factors into account, it's clear that Palantir has numerous growth opportunities in both the commercial and government sectors. However, despite these promising prospects, the bearish case for Palantir cannot be ignored, and it largely centers around the company's current valuation. The excitement surrounding Palantir's potential has driven its stock price to lofty levels, with the company currently trading at a forward price to sales multiple of 30 based on analyst estimates for this year's revenue. While the company's revenue growth of 27% last quarter and 17% for 2023 is solid, it does not necessarily justify such a high valuation. Before the onset of the pandemic, software as a service companies with high gross margins and revenue growth rates in the range of 25 to 35 percent would typically trade at enterprise value to revenue ratios of less than 10. In contrast, looking ahead to 2025, analysts expect Palantir to generate revenue of $3.32 billion, but even then, the company is trading at 24 times those estimates. This means that Palantir is not just slightly overvalued, it is trading at an extraordinarily high valuation, especially considering its current growth rate. While a dramatic acceleration in revenue growth could help justify these valuation levels, it's important to remember that Palantir's government business tends to experience periods of uneven growth, which could affect the company's overall performance. Furthermore, analysts are only forecasting approximately 20% revenue growth for Palantir in 2025, which is a far cry from the level of growth needed to support such high valuations. Situations. Another concern for investors is the significant amount of insider selling that has occurred recently. Palantir's chairman has implemented a plan to sell nearly 28.6 million shares of the company by the end of 2025. Meanwhile, Chief Executive Officer Alex Karp has also been selling shares exercising and selling 9 million shares of options at an exercise price of $11.38. Notably, these options were not set to expire until 2032, suggesting that there may have been a predetermined price point that triggered the sales. This recent selling activity was a sharp increase from the 575,000 shares Carp sold in August. Additionally, other top executives, including Palantir's chief financial officer and several directors, have also been selling shares. While insider selling is not always a negative signal, the scale of the selling activity among Palantir's top executives raises some concerns about the stock's future price performance. As a result, some investors may be inclined to follow the lead of these insiders and sell their Palantir shares, especially given the stock's currently high valuation. In conclusion, Palantir Technologies is a company with a bright future and plenty of growth opportunities, particularly in the areas of data analytics and artificial intelligence. However, at its current price, Palantir stock is trading at extreme levels, which may not be justified by its current growth rate. Given the stock's high valuation and the recent insider selling, it may be wise for investors to consider selling Palantir shares rather than buying them at these levels. Palantir Technologies has seen tremendous stock price growth this year, driven by its success in the fields of data analytics and artificial intelligence. Its commercial and government segments are both showing strong performance, and the company has significant growth opportunities on the horizon. However, the stock's valuation is extremely high compared to its current growth rate, and recent insider selling raises concerns. While Palantir remains an exciting company with a bright future, the stock may be overvalued at its current price. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.